Welcome to the Remark Software YouTube channel. Today we will be demonstrating the extra credit feature available in Remark Office OMR. Allowing for extra credit questions on your exams gives students the ability to score higher than the test stated value. Extra credit points can be defined in either the template editor or the grade wizard. By allowing you to set these points in both areas, you can use either EasyGrade or the Grade Wizard to generate your reports. Extra credit points can be applied to both objective and subjective questions. You will ultimately determine the value of each extra credit question. When extra credit points are awarded, they are added to the total score of the test. For example, if your test is worth 100 points and there is a 5-point bonus question, it is possible for students to earn 105 points. The extra credit feature is available within all of the Remark products. This tutorial will highlight the steps required to define extra credit in Remark Office OMR. These same steps would need to be taken in Remark Classic OMR and Remark Web Survey. The Remark team will be posting a separate video on how to set extra credit points in Remark Test Grading Edition. Now I'm going to show you how to set extra credit points within Remark Office OMR. We are going to begin with the template editor. We are now in the template editor portion of Remark Office OMR. This is used to create your form template files. You must create one form template file for each form that you process with the Remark software. The form template file defines all of the information needed for the software to process your form correctly. For demonstration purposes, my template file has already been set up. In order to define our extra credit points, we must access the region properties of the question we want to use for extra credit. In our case, we will double-click on the green highlight region around the possible answers for the bonus question at the bottom of the form. This will open the OMR Region Properties window. As you can see, our OMR region has already been defined. When creating a template from scratch, you will need to use this window to define items such as region name, OMR type, data type, and region orientation. Since we are strictly focusing on extra credit, I will select the Region Item Properties link off to the left. Here you will decide which regions to grade and set the test points to be used for grading. Under the Testing Point System section, questions can be designated as objective or subjective questions. You can even change the point values awarded. I'm going to change the correct points to 5. To treat the question as extra credit, simply mark the checkbox for all points awarded should be treated as extra credit. This feature allows you to use EasyGrade to grade the test and still designate a question as extra credit. When this checkbox is selected, any points awarded for the question are added to the total score. Click OK to return to the template file. Once your template file is complete, you can save the file and open it in the Remark Office OMR Data Center, which we will jump to now. As you can see, we are now in the Remark Office OMR Data Center, which stores all of the raw data we have scanned. For demonstration purposes, I have already completed the scanning process. Since I scanned an answer key first and set my extra credit in the template, I could easily select EasyGrade to generate my reports. Instead, I want to review how you can also define extra credit questions while using the Grade Wizard. Please note that you do not have to set extra credit points in both the Template Editor and Grade Wizard. This video is simply demonstrating how to use either method. To begin, I will need to click the Grade Wizard icon. This will launch Remark Quick Stats in a new window. The Getting Started window will appear first. In order to set a question as extra credit, we must access the Question Properties, which can be found off to the left. The Question Properties window allows you to modify the properties for each of your test questions. The Grade Wizard initially uses any values that were defined in the Form Templates properties. The changes you make here will not affect your Form Template file, however these settings will be used over those set in the Template file during the grading process. To modify the appropriate question, I will select the bonus question from the task pane on the left. To add the awarded points as extra credit, you will need to mark the checkbox for all points awarded should be treated as extra credit. Here you can change the number of points you wish to allow for. I am going to change this to 5. I can now proceed to the full list of available reports by clicking Finish. Please note that this video is strictly showcasing the extra credit feature. Additional steps may be required before you can generate your reports. After clicking Finish, Remark Quick Stats will automatically generate our default report. In this case, we have the Student Statistics Report. This report provides the scores for all of the students in the class. If we look closely at the results for our first student, Donna Smalls, 
We will see that she answered every question on the exam correctly and even got the bonus question right. As a result, her total points awarded are 75 out of 70, which is a percent score of just over 107%. When the report shows the breakdown of objective versus subjective questions, we can see her 55 out of 50 score was for the objective portion of the test, and she also scored 20 out of 20 on the subjective portion. Another report that will display the extra credit points is the student grade report. This report provides a detailed grade report for each student included in the grade operation. This is a great report if you need to hand something back to the student. The report provides a summary of the student's answers and grade information from the test. If extra credit questions are included, they are highlighted in blue like our bonus question. The total score and percent score listed under the respondent ID will reflect any extra credit points awarded. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial on adding extra credit questions to your exams. For more information, please contact the Remark sales team or visit our website to sign up to receive the latest news and updates from the Remark Products Group. Thank you for your interest in the Remark software.